Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Jersey and today we're going to be doing a pepper steak baked potato. This potato is something that I used to get in Jersey all the time in this little spot in Newark. I can't remember the name, but the line would always be out the door and this is like one of the most delicious things. So I was feeling nostalgic and I wanted to make this potato and show you guys how to do it so you can have a little piece of Jersey with you. So let me show you what you need. First, you're going to need some foil because we're going to bake these potatoes. And then you're going to stab it. Stab it like it's your ex-boyfriend. You know, just get mad at that thing. Just keep stabbing it. Just stab it. Just, I hate you so much right now to the potato. Because the reason why you put holes in it is because you want to make sure it gets ventilated. Um for ventilation and then you're just gonna put some oil on it i put avocado oil but you could put olive oil if you want to and then um after you do that you want to put some salt on it because you got to season because don't nobody like no dry food you got to season you don't want flavorless food you want good food and then wrap it up like it's a little sub sandwich and set it on track and you're going to continue that and do it for all four of your potatoes like i did here boom and then put it in the oven at 450 for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, then we're going to do the steak. So all I did here was cut up uh, some beef meat and I put some salt and pepper on it. See, because people don't understand how far salt and pepper goes. And I'm not talking about table salt. Please don't use table salt on this meat. Could you please go out and get some kosher salt? Because I know lots of people who think table salt is meant for seasoning food and it is not. It is not meant for seasoning food. I don't care what anyone told you. It is not meant for that. So please don't do it. Use sea salt or kosher salt because that is meant for seasoning food. Table salt is meant for the what? For the table. Okay, you're welcome for that. And then you're just going to continue to cook the beef until, you know, nice and brown with some brown marks. Because, you know, brown food is always better. Y'all already know that. We go through this all the time. And then, you know, after you get all your meats brown you're going to want to do your pepper so i cut my green pepper and onion quite thinly here and you're just going to saute these with a little salt and pepper for about uh, three to four minutes and the onions will turn translucent so you just keep cooking and they're going to sweat out and they're going to be so delicious. And you're going to just use, I use a sweet onion because it um, balances well with the green pepper. And um, you know, you're just going to let it there and then you add the meat back. And do not leave out the juices because you need them juices. Okay girl? And then you just stir it all up. Mm -hmm. Stir it up so they can be all nice and well combined because you know the meat is also going to give this green pepper onion vegetable medley some more flavors. And you know I cooked my meat to like a medium but you can cook it more if you want to um, even though I don't suggest it because I think people who eat well done steak were just basically ruin it. And there I just put a little bit of gravy in. If you want to use pre Package prepare gravy, please do. Um, I made my own, but you can always use it in the thing. You don't have to make it, you know, it's not that serious. And then after you do that, you're gonna put it all together and it looks like this. Oh man, it's so delicious. On the top, you'll see some sour cream and a little parsley because parsley makes things pretty. If you want to make this recipe, log on to jadalashes.com. It is printable there. I'm here every Monday and Wednesday. And if you decide to make it, please hashtag jadalashes and I will see what you've been doing in your kitchen. You know what I'm going to say to you. Be the best possible version of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.